All right, so we have a different type of video today. I'm here at the Center Force headquarters. I'm with Trent. Uh, I met him a couple times, but this is the first time I'm actually meeting him at his personal job. So they, he was actually very, very kind to bust out all kinds of stuff because Center Force is actually building me a high horsepower clutch for my turbocharged LS. And while I was here, I said, you know what? I'm pretty sure everybody wants to know the difference of all the different clutches. Let's go ahead and have Trent go over, you know, very quickly sure. uh, the differences of the different clutches that you guys offer. Sure, as you can see, we've conveniently kind of laid out a variety of different clutches that we have available, but essentially um, the big differences are, you know, single versus twin versus triples, and basically that's obviously the, the number of discs involved. Now, single discs are by far the most common. That's probably the one that everybody's familiar with. Uh, that basically consists of a single disc clutch, obviously, and a pressure plate and a flywheel, of course. Well, there are actually different styles of single disc clutch, and I've got the basics here laid out. We'll get more in-depth in terms of the materials and the types and all that stuff. But basically, this is our Center Force 2. This is a very good um, entry-level performance clutch. Great for towing, great for off-roading, just a great all-around clutch. Uh, next step up is our dual friction. Um, this has a segmented uh, friction surface on one side, as you can see full face disc on the other. This has a little bit more holding capacity, slightly more aggressive in terms of engagement, but still a very, very streetable clutch. Now, if you want to get really hardcore, you get into the paddle style. This is our DFX. These are paddle style clutch, which is a, a pretty much strictly for racing, not very friendly on the street, uh, but they also have this ceramic material, which is different from the organic friction material that the others have. Uh, this is a very aggressive clutch kind of like an on-off switch, essentially. So that basically covers the single disc end of the spectrum. These are good for anywhere from stock up to about, let's say, six to 650 foot-pounds of holding capacity. When you get it beyond that, you really kind of get into twin disc territory. And again, this depends on the application, how you're using it and all that stuff. Uh, but when you get into some serious power levels, uh, you might consider a twin. So here at Center Force, we have two different styles of twin discs. We have our SST, which stands for Solid Street Twin. This is more of an entry-level type of twin disc. What we have here is solid hubs, hence the Solid Street, solid hubs, and a pair of discs with uh, full-faced organic friction material. And then there's a floater plate in between, as well as a lightened billet steel flywheel. Now, like I said, this is good for about uh, 925 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, the next step up is our dyad. Now this is a true, really high-end uh, twin disc system. As you can see, we've got uh, segmented friction material on both sides. Uh, that increases holding capacity. And we also have this floater ring and another disc. Now this one's good for about 1,300 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, so it's very, very capable. And on top of that, we also have an XDS version, which is this same clutch with uh, ceramic friction material for the discs, and those are very, very aggressive, but those are good for up to 1,600 foot-pounds of torque. Now, this is all going to be a precision-matched, balanced assembly. When you get these, these are truly hand-built, as you will be able to see in some of the other videos. These are truly hand-built, but they come balanced, and you get basically a spec sheet with each one of these that has all the pertinent specifications specific to this clutch. So, Really nice, uh, high quality materials that are used throughout all ARP fasteners. So that takes care of the twin disc, but we also have one final version, and that is a triad. Now this is, as the name implies, this is a triple disc clutch. Now this is pretty much for racing only. As you can see, they're only available in the eight and three quarter style because we're all about trying to reduce weight. We're all about trying to maximize holding power and rapid engagement. Like I said, these are pretty much racing only. Now, within the triad line, though, we do have two different styles. We have uh, the organic friction material for the discs. Now, these are relatively forgiving. <laughs> um, it's, again, still very racing-oriented. And then for the ultimate and holding power, you've got the Sierra Metallic. Now, this is pretty much an on-off switch. Um, very aggressive, you know, not very street-friendly at all. But if you're looking for all-out performance, the triad is hard to so I got a quick question myself. For my particular turbocharged LS, it's putting out about 750 horsepower, more or less, or at least that's where we plan to be. What is the clutch that you guys are building for me? Well, because you're using kind of an unusual transmission combination, um, you're right at the ragged edge of what a, a single disc clutch can really handle. 
Um, but due to the unusual transmission that you have, we don't really have a twin disc option um, for your application. So what we did is we did the next best thing. We went with a dual friction, so segmented style disc on one side or on both sides in your case. Um, we did a, a center force fly or pressure plate, um, but then we did that in a 12 inch version. After looking at the parts that came out of your truck, uh, we were able to determine that we were actually able to increase the diameter of both the pressure plate and especially the disc uh, to where we're right in the neighborhood of where uh, horsepower and torque holding capacity of where you're at right now. So uh, basically with a 12 inch clutch compared to your 10 and a half, I'm gonna say that's almost a 30% increase in holding capacity. So uh, we're, we're pretty confident you should be good to go. All right, well I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for giving us a little bit of your time and we'll see you guys all in the next one.